Hello, all you cool cats and kittens out there. <laughs> My name is Ethan. This is Jaden. This is Pace Brothers Reviews. Uh, it's where we rate mediocre plan on great equipment. <laughs> so, if you're a mediocre player out there and you're like, what could that sound like? I'm your guy, not Jaden. Listen I'll, up. Jaden is not that. He's, he's going to hot rod here in a minute. Anyway, I've uh, got a Cutlass, Sterling Cutlass Music Man here. Um, big fan of the Music Man. Uh, guitars, they're great guitars, especially the Sterling for the price. The uh, regular Cutlass is about $2,500. Um, great guitar itself, it's amazing. I've had a chance to play one, I don't own one. But the Cutlass line is stellar, bar none. Uh, they're made in the USA. Uh, these are, will kind of be like their version of Squire, um, but they're not Squire. I've never played a Squire that sounds quite like the Sterling. Uh, and that's not a bashful Squire. Squires are great. Uh, classic vibes, all those are great guitars, but this one just, if you're comparing apples to apples, this, this blows those out of water, in my opinion. You may not think so, it's all subjective. Uh, the first thing we do, we let it sit for about a week, because you don't want your girlfriend to know that you got a new guitar. So when she comes over, you got to put it in the corner. Just pray she never sees it. Especially when you're about to get married. <laughs> anyway, as always here, Pace Brothers Review, we're going to review the tremolo. Sounded great. <laughs> we don't use a trim. Fantastic. We're not. If I was Steve Vibe, that would be awesome. I'm not. Uh, it has three single cool pickups, five way selector switch, just like a strat. Uh, they have one with a humbucker. I've had it. It's a good guitar. Uh, that's the one I had before. I recently purchased this one. Uh, very, very recently. And uh, it was a good guitar. I ended up trading it. I wish I hadn't. And you see how great it was because I ended up buying another version. Uh, but the humbucker is kind of, I don't know, you have to set up your amp to use the humbucker. It's a good humbucker, but I don't like, I don't like switching a pickup and then getting a 12 dB boost and sounding like glass. Um, We'll do a little review of it. I'm pretty sure it's made of poplar. Could be wrong about that. A nice pop. You can just do this review and say it's whatever you want. It's like, it's, it's, it's made out of uh, elephant tusk. It's made of Norse's tears. It's very, it's a very risky move. <laughs> Just kidding, it is made out of poplar. Another thing I always do, I take the back plate off. I feel like it resonates, resonates a little better. That's all subjective as well. I could be totally wrong. It looks cooler it, too. Nah, I don't know if it looks cooler. Sometimes my other guitar, my Strat, uh, I put holes in my shirt because I like to do something and then it gets caught in the springs because I got a belly. That's part of our other channel though. Uh, Fat guy, music problem. <laughs> um, we'll do a few tones on it. I'm going through a Kosh twin tone. Uh, it's a two, can't afford the three, so send in your Venmos, send in all your money, and maybe we'll do it on a twin tone three next time. Greatly. Uh, yeah, so we're going through the Kosh to start with, but I'll switch between that and the bass breaker. The Kosh twin tone is, of course, like obviously like a twin. It's a, I call it a usable twin um, because uh, you can't get a regular twin Fender to uh, break up. So this one actually breaks up. Uh, and then I have the Fender Bass Breaker as my other amp. Uh, more of a Marshall-esque type, like JTM 45 is kind of what it's supposed to sound like. Um, not saying it sounds like that, I'm just saying that's what it's supposed to sound like. <laughs>
Mm. I guess I do when I want to like maybe play more punk, like aggressive bite stuff. <laughs> what you will. The neck is really dry, I'll say. Mo a lot of guitars come that way. Um, I have not put anything on the neck. I adjusted the neck slightly because I like a low action, as most do. All right, we got the uh, middle bridge. Position two, if you will. Get that country twine. to the bridge, which is actually usable in this one.
If I pick this up, the only thing I'll say is the pickups are really hot. Mm -hmm. So like, I can't go. I have a like a classic player sixty strat on the wall with the sixty nine custom shop style pickups, and you cannot go back to back with them. Like plug into an amp, you just got to turn down the game. That's about it. Everything else is about the same, but it does. We played a show one time, and I think I used the other sub I had, the Sterling, mm -hmm. as a backup. And I think it jumped like ten dB like as soon as I plugged in. Like the, just, the pickups are really hot. That's good. I mean, it's not bad. It's just something to be aware of. That's the real way to play. But nothing's on the effects right now. We're going to turn some more here in a second. This amazing lighting we have already in here. Beautiful. With the fan, if you're if you're like you're, I'm sure I'm gonna get like 16 comments. Like, <laughs> sick of that fan going in the background. I hate it. Why are the amps so close to just your phone if you're not gonna record it into a laptop? Listen, this is our first video. Send all money in. <laughs> Transistor. Take notes. That's all I'm gonna play on that. 
Chorus and delay. A chorus and delay. Okay. It sounds like a Strat should, but it also doesn't sound like a Strat in some ways. Um, it's, it's a little more versatile than a Strat. It's more versatile. Play. You can do more with it. I wouldn't. I would never put a Strat on the bridge pickup ever. It shrills my ear. I think you use a bridge pickup on it. Yeah, that's because he's a better player. So. Mm -hmm. 